going on guys? Welcome back. Oh crap. Welcome back to another Creative Destruction video. So the Halloween update is here in Creative Destruction. We got some new skins. We got some new things to tell you about. We've also got a hint of a new or an old map coming. So make sure you tune into the video and I'll tell you all about that. But before I do, again, I'm doing another 500 diamond giveaway. All you have to do is get the likes over 500, drop one comment down below, and I'll pick one of those random comments to win 500 free Creative Destruction Diamonds. So get liking, get commenting, and enjoy the video. Let's go. Yeah, baby girl, you're so damn fine, no. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, no. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, no. When it's over, I press for wine, no. Talking bands, I got it. Okay, so welcome back to another video, boys. So we have Creative Destruction's Halloween Spooky Update. So I'm just logging in on the US server on PC where I've got all my diamonds just to see exactly what's new and what we can expect from the new Halloween update. So before we even start with the video, I'm just going to quickly go through the patch notes again. So they balance the drop rates of the Gold Scar and the Gold AK in the air drops, which they should have done a long time ago. So you're going to find a lot more Gold Scars instead of Gold AKs in the game. I mean, the Gold AK is good, but in my opinion, I prefer the Gold Scar. I think it's just better, more accurate as well. Uh, they've reduced memory usage and crash rate. Optimize the game for improved stability because, as you know, one of the pet hates of the game, guys, is us freaking lagging and freaking crashing in the game so they've made it so the crash rate is decreased so we are going to check that out later on uh, so number one they've optimized the parachute jump phase map loading strategy reducing memory usage and reducing the chances of crashes occurring during the parachute jump phase okay don't know what that means uh, number two they've optimized looks loading to reduce the chance of crashes occurring so we have further optimized performance and frame rate since last week you can experience these optimizations by updating the game to the latest version via your respective app store. So go to your app store, guys. Update the game if it needs an update or if you've already updated it already, then it should be a lot better for you. We will continue to optimize the performance and stability of the game. Please remember to keep an eye out on the latest version in your app store. So they are fixing it, guys. They are fixing these bugs. I don't know if it's a little bit too late, but again... Let me know in the comments if you're excited because they are finally fixing the game. It's going to be a lot better to play, a lot easier to play. And stay tuned because in a second I'm going to tell you some important news. But before I do that, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit a like on this video. If we can get over 500 likes, I will do a 500 diamond giveaway for one comment down below. So make sure you hit that like. Okay, so the Halloween looks. News this week, all on the Halloween looks we're going to check into. I'm just checking if there's anything else. When the Explorer is being spectated, the number of people currently watching will be displayed on the minimap. That's pretty cool. They've got the number of... Um, so you can actually see how many people are spectating you now because you couldn't actually do that before. So you didn't know who was spectating you. Uh, the style of the in-battle mission list has been updated and it will all now also display mission progress. So that's pretty cool. You can see how close you are to completing a mission in-game. Uh, they fixed an issue where airdrop models appeared unopened after already opened. Cool. They fixed an issue where the auto parachute button. They fixed an issue where key settings were not implemented after being modified and refreshed. So, looking at that, guys, that is a lot of bug fixes in this one update. So, we are going to check it out a bit later on. But, let's check out the Halloween update first. So, what have we got here? Right, the VIP Masquerade Ball Invitation. So what's this? We've got Trick or Treat right over here. So let's click on that first. A white t-shirt. Thank you, devs. Okay. Collect medals and redeem looks over here. So it looks like here, complete the following daily missions to earn medals. So you looks like you can collect medals just for logging in and uh, for doing sort of in-game missions. And if you click on exchange suits just here, you can actually exchange the medals for some stuff. So you can actually get this really cool sort of pumpkin glider. I think that's pretty cool for Halloween. Flying in on that. That's pretty scary. 
Um, so yeah, you have to collect medals in game, guys. So get grinding, get collecting. Um, and then we've also got the Masquerade Ball. Let's check this out. So, Frozen Snowfield. Ball time remaining today. 13 hours and 24 minutes. So, ah, okay. So, it looks like total attempt. Put on one of the following three looks and play a match to claim ball bonuses. You must put a permanent look on. And then what do you get? You need an invitation to enter. Okay, and then, so what? Wait, so what? Total attendance reward is two gold, 4,000. Ah, uh, so basically, this is basically just to collect gold and medals, guys. So, I mean, if you really want to collect loads of gold and medals in the game, then do this, because all you have to do is put on one of these uh, uh, items. That's if you've got it, you've got to buy it first. So the developers have done sort of something cheeky then. They've made it so you have to buy the item first to wear it in order to play games and unlock this stuff down here. Two days, three days, five days, so... That's pretty sneaky. Anyway, we're going to move on from that. Uh, in the mall, we have the new Inferno Lord and the new freaking Glider Hellblazer. That looks absolutely incredible. So let me just check how much the, the, uh, the actual packs are. So they cost 135. So here we go again, boys. How, long, how many pulls is it going to take and how long are we going to get this freaking Inferno? Let's go. Fantastic. I'm deleting the game. Wow. Brilliant. Finally, we got the Hellblazer glider. Now I want the suit. Give me the give me the hell suit. Come on, brother. One more. That's it. No more. Wow. Yeah, that's it, guys. I am not buying that. But anyway, we got this cool. Um, we got the cool glider, which I'm gonna put on just now if I can find it. Where's it at? The stream? No, the glide. Where's my glider at? Flight. There we go. Wow. Look at that. I mean, that looks awesome. We've got that and the dragon. So I'm gonna try the Hellblazer um, in a game when I actually play it. Let's just open the mail. See if we've got anything. Free gold. Let's claim all of that. Got anything else? No, no, no. Okay, so here's the big news, guys, okay? Now, I'm going to need you to make sure you hit a like on the video, okay? Check this pitch out just here. So this is what the developers actually released, okay, a few days ago, right, on their official Facebook, okay? It is basically, it says, what's coming next, and it shows a new map, so I'm going to zoom in on this map, as you can see here. I had a look and I inspected the map and it doesn't look like they've changed any or like added any locations. It's all pretty much similar to what it was. But if you'll notice, right in the middle, Lion Park. That Lion Park on the map is the old Lion Park. So could it be like Lion Park's being built into something else, like a Tilted Towers? Could it be, I don't know, could it be like a new sort of... Uh, like, could it be the old map coming back? Could it be any of those things? I've sort of spectated that, and I've I've had a look around the sort of outside of that picture as well. There's not really anything special. I mean, on the left-hand side, there's kind of like... It looks like a sort of a new map being formed, but who knows? It could be... That could just be like background scenery. I don't know, but as you can see right there, I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, like I said, hit a like on the video and drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about that. Like, could it be the old map coming back? What do you guys think it would be? Number one, the old map coming back. Number two, a new uh, area being built. Number three, uh, an upgraded new map. I don't know. You let me know in the comments down below and we will find out together. So, guys, I'm not going to play any uh, games in this uh, video. I'm basically just going to show you all of this and a new update. As you can see right here... If you want to go to the official Facebook page, they're doing a 100 diamond uh, sort of giveaway right now. All you have to do is try and sh uh, stop the GIF at the right moment, um, which uh, which is not loading up on my screen. So if you want to go to the official Facebook page, go and follow them and hit a like on that, um, then you can try and earn 100 free diamonds. So again, guys, I am doing a 500 diamond giveaway. 
That's the end of the video, but I'm still doing a 500 diamond giveaway. All you have to do is get the likes over 500. Make sure you hit that sub button. Make sure you drop a comment down below. And basically just enjoy, guys. Again, this was only a short video just to show you the update. It's a pretty cool update in my opinion. It's a new Halloween update. There's a lot of new things they're adding into the game. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Yeah, boy!